Coach Walker has coached for 34 years, and for the past 29, beginning in 1976, was the head coach at Troy Athens High School. While coaching at Our Lady of the Lakes under Mike Boyd, and at Brother Rice under Alpha Crossa, Troy and Troy Athens as head coach. <coughs> His credentials include six conference championships, undefeated conference winning streaks of 15 and 10 games, and one undefeated regular season. His teams have qualified for the state playoffs six years, all at Troy Athens. In 1992, Coach Walker was MHS FCA East West All Star Game East Coast. He was the Associated Press Honorable Mention Coach of the Year in 1992 and has been awarded Coach of the Year honors 15 times, which includes six MHS FCA <coughs> Regional Coach of the Year honors, his first in 1981 and his last in 2004. Coach Walker retired from coaching in 2005. Coach Walker's comments on my coach. I have always been interested in competitive sports and when my, <clears throat> when my playing days were over, a natural extension was for me to stay in competitive sports by coaching. Involvement in year-round sports saved me from a bad attitude towards school and learning because the rules in my home were no grades, you are not playing. So looking back, I credit my school success to my interest in sports. That's why I coach. Coach Walker's most bizarre moments in coaching and his biggest thrill in coaching have been related to you already by Jeff Keller, but these are his in his words. Bizarre moments in coaching. Sprinklers going off during a game because the custodians were not getting a contract. <laughs> Lights turned off during a game as a prank. Buses breaking down twice versus the same team in two consecutive years causing game delays. <laughs> to this day, our opponents believe we did this on purpose to help us win by disrupting the karma of their opponents. <laughs> and his biggest thrill in coaching. I started coaching at Troy Athens in 1976, taking over a brand new football program that began in 1974 and had lost 18 games. We were 0-8 and eight, and then won the ninth game of the year. The drama and the emotion by our team, parents, and entire school was more than we had ever experienced. It was like winning the Super Bowl, and the celebration was more than anyone expected. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Coach John Walker. First of all, being one of the last speakers, I get to diddle what everybody has said. <laughs> I want to thank God our Father for the many blessings. And my own personal health and my family and the outstanding people that I have been associated with during my teaching and coaching career. My family, who are partially here tonight, if they would stand, five of my six kids and their spouses, they're my favorite. <laughs> Three of my 24 grandkids, and I feel like the luckiest guy in the world because all 24 of my grandkids are within an hour's reach of getting a hug. And uh, I talk to so many people there. One person is in California, one's in Florida, one's in Texas, and I just see, feel so grateful that they are so close. <clears throat> the real head coach of my family is my wife, Gina. Please stand again, Gina. <clears throat> you know, when you're the head coach, you think you're the boss. 
and I would come home and the kids would tell me what their mom did. And I'd say, well, look, I'm just an assistant. Whatever, <laughs> whatever she said goes. And then, of course, I go in later that night and talk to her and get a whole different version <laughs> of what she had done. <clears throat> I also want to acknowledge a gratitude for two of my coaching mentors that I had a great honor to work with them. Mike Boyd at a Lady Lakes, who's a legendary coach, and Alfred Casa at Brother Rice. And the Troy School District, who provided all that we needed to be successful. The athletic directors, Joe Francis, Jim Felkamp, and now Mike Jolly. Uh, it really has been incredible how those people influence your lives, both on the field as well as off. In addition, I want to thank the Michigan High School Football Coaches Association for this award. I accept this Hall of Fame honor on behalf of the hundreds of players and numerous coaches that gave so much commitment and dedication to a fresh new program that struggled and ended up achieving beyond our beginning expectations. Some of them are here tonight, uh, Brad Morton and Jamie Jackson, who surprised me. Uh, if you two guys could stand, they uh, coached with me for many years. <laughs> and in addition, Keith Dempsey, uh, Ray Dowwood, Mario Valente, Mark Claver, Phil Erminger, uh, John Rebine, and John Wensley. Uh, they were so loyal, and I think one of the advantages we had is we were all naive, we were all young, we were all dumb, and, and we went and we just learned together. We didn't have somebody come in and say, well, this is how you should do it. In particular, I want to thank Jeff, who was honored here tonight. He said some beautiful things, but I got to tell you, Jeff is a really funny guy. I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm rather stoic and serious, and in the beginning at Troy Athens, I'm selling these kids on playing with heart, and I'm saying, you know, you know, those guys that were playing, they put their pants on the same as you. When the meeting's over, we go in the locker room, and Jeff said, well, John, what you said is true. But their legs are 240 pounds, our legs are 120 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> we got to know Sally and her family very well. My wife, Jean, and her would go to many of those early games, and there's a contrast in personalities as well. I would come home and Jean would say, boy, you guys got to be pretty bad. And we did. I mean, we were just getting ripped. And we weren't good. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. <laughs> well, when you're not good, parents don't yell, hey, Joey, number 77, you stink. You're no good. They yell at John Walker, coach, Jeff Keller, coach. Well, partly through the second half, Sally had it up to here. <laughs> She stood up, hands on her hips. I'll have you know that my husband is Jeff Keller, the defensive coach, and he's doing the best he can. And I said to my wife, well, what did you say? I didn't say anything. She said, they paid their two bucks to get in. Coaches, of course, <laughs> always carry so much emotion with them after the game. It's so hard to, to give back to an even emotional temperament. And, uh, we, when when uh, Jeff was at Troy High, we had an undefeated team, 8-0. I, I believe Jeff was 7-1. It, it was a horrendous night. And uh, it, that was back in the day when uh, really only one team 
from any area got into the playoffs. It wasn't like it is now where you got, you know, 16, 18 teams that can qualify. So if you weren't undefeated, you probably weren't going to get in. Well, they had a very good team, we had a very good team. It comes down to the wire. There's this blistering rain. The wind is blowing left to right. He lines up his kicker for a 50-yard field goal. Kid named Kenya. And I turned to Keith Dempsey, our assistant. I said, he can't make this, can he? And he goes, I don't think so. <laughs> Boom! You gotta be kidding! <laughs> and he made it. And uh, Jeff went on, as he already said, to beat numerous undefeated teams, and just did an outstanding job, of which I was always proud of my association uh, with, with him uh, while he was at Troy High. <clears throat> while we had no state titles officially and no trophies to put in the trophy case. But when I say to people, when they talk about those championship years and that, in my mind, I had 29 state championships. And it was because of the love and the relationship that you have with those players and how they come together and they bond. It is so, so special that unless you're there, like these guys have all been there. It's really hard, you know. I apologize for this, but uh, it's hard for me to talk about things that I love without going right straight to the heart. So, congratulations to the other inductees. I know how you feel. I want to thank the association again for this evening. Thank you much, and God bless.